I hope for a favorable response from the CCJ, not only for me to live my life the way I am, but any person who think, you know, have a fear of coming out, of being gay or trans or bisexual, you know, to live their life and to be free. Well, I am the photo of five kids for my mom and dad who passed away. It wasn't a bit easy because I lost my mom at a very tender age and growing up with my dad and persons who was left in the care of me, you know, we didn't have much of it. And my father, he was a very strict person. Not strict in terms of my lifestyle, but strict as a not easygoing person with doing certain things so you know when you lost your mother they said it's the end of your life so it wasn't much you know it wasn't too rough it wasn't too smooth as a child growing up i had always hoped to become two things either a lawyer or a pilot but during to coming from you know not so strong financial background parents I've never had the opportunity to pursue that dream, but thanks to me that, you know, I'm in the catering field and there's never too late to achieve nothing because the journey of a thousand miles begins with a footstep. And I think that my future endeavor is to become a successful business person owning my own business. I think my parents had accepted me and they know who I was have become into me because from small growing up from the age like six seven I was always into you know the kitchen looking at how my mom do this and I'm the type of person that I only have to see you do something once and then I grasp it and I put it into practice I mean on my first or my second attempt I mightn't get it but you could trust me that from the third or the fourth onwards I'm a master at it. You see, when Mr. Chan said that cross-dressing wasn't illegal unless it, was a, unless it was for improper purpose, he had given us, you know, it's like a 50-50 to go ahead that you could cross-dress, but he never specified what the improper purpose was because before he had that given that ruling, the police used to harass us terribly, but then when we used to, if we get locked up and we said that, Hey, the Chief Justice had said cross-dressing is not illegal unless it's for a proper purpose that had lowered the attitude towards the police of arresting us and, you know, charging us for going back to court again. GTU has been working, fighting, and toiling to better the lives of myself and other LGBT persons. And I know that at the end of the day, we are going to get there because the fight is real, the struggle is real. And as I said before, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a full, one footstep. And I mean, as LGBT people, we wouldn't have our, you know, we want to live our lives the fullest. Probably it might be before my eyes are closed. Probably it might be after I'm gone, but at the end of the day, we will be ourselves.